Hey Poke fans, I'm here again this week with another exciting um, Pokemon pack pulling uh, opportunity. For, well, opportunity for me and uh, you know, a viewing experience for you guys as well. But this, this is a special one. This is an exciting one because this, we are heading um, just a few weekends before our brand new set release, Roaring Skies. And I have been to a couple of pre-release parties. I have, I have opened so many packs. I've been to more than one party. Um, I've probably between between these packs and between what I've brought here today for you guys, I will actually have opened an entire box. Now, unfortunately, because of the nature of the pre-release parties, um, I, I couldn't show you opening those packs, but I can show you some of the cool cards. That I brought, but because you do get some packs on the way out, I have eight packs to open with you guys tonight. I'm hoping I get something cool out of these. I'm really looking for, like everyone is, a Shaman EX with the setup ability, which is so awesome. I'm looking for a colorless um, Mega Rayquaza EX. The colorless one is the one that everyone wants because you can evolve it right away. Um, it, it's just. <clears throat> The Emerald Breakability is so amazing on that. I'm looking for those guys. But, you know, all else fails. You know, I'm still looking to fill out, you know, some Winonas. There's some good full art cards in this set. Um, but even just the regular Winonas, the regular Wallies, you know, maybe even some Stevens are okay. <coughs> you know, I'm, I'm really hoping to get some cool cards. And then what I can do is I can show you some of the cool cards that I, you know, borrowed, bartered, um, traded for. Um, from some of my other cards, show you some of the stuff that I got from, uh, from the other polls as well. So, but first, what, what do we have here? Uh, first, well, okay, might as well just open them and let's just look at these beautiful packs first. We've got, look at that, Mega Latios on there. We've got a Deoxys, who doesn't have uh, an EX card or a Mega in this set. He's got a regular foil rare card, which is kind of cool, kind of cool, but I'm still not sure why he's going to be on it, why he's on the cover. Got Mega Gallade here, which features prominently, and uh, Mega Gallade also has you know, full art. He has an EX, a Mega EX, you know, pretty cool cards there too. Uh, a little bit outclassed by um, by a uh, Shaman EX, and um, in terms of setup, and then just pure attack power of Rayquaza. But I still think um, he's going to be one of those sleeper hits where there's going to be some cool stuff happening with him because he's got he's got a cool attack. And then, of course, the one everyone's talking about, Rayquaza. Ooh. I only have one pack featuring Rayquaza art in here. Um, not that that matters. I also have only one pack featuring uh, uh, Mega Gallade, apparently. But um, doesn't matter. You know, I've, I've got a bunch of empty packs over here. I've got an empty box. Just take a look at that thing. When it comes out, it's going to be really cool green colored so if, if you're big fans of green you're going to be really happy with this set you know, coming out in uh i think may 6th a couple weeks two weeks away here you know oh i'm so excited I've, uh, compare it to the japanese box as well which of course has you know fewer packs smaller packs so it's a smaller size box but so cool all right guys let's get into this all right since i got these two more recently and since we have you know, so many of them. I'm gonna open a Latios and a Deoxys. Let's see what we get. So excited, guys. You have no idea. Alright. <clears throat> Code card, which you can't even redeem online anyway. But I'm so excited. Rayquaza Spirit Link. Yes. Yes. Electrode. It's, it's kind of cool. Continuous Tumble is, is a... One of those ones where you just keep flipping coins until you end and do a damage, that could be cool. Dragonair, Dratini, get an Electric, get a Swablu, get a Bagon, get a, an Execute. A Reverse Hollow is a Banette. Ooh, I, this is actually my first time seeing a Banette this weekend, despite opening, you know, a, a third of a box of cards, so that's cool. And then we've got, hey, this is kind of the one of the headline cards of this set with, with the, uh, the Altera here, um, with its ability Clear Humming. This is actually the, the promo card that, um, that you got if you went to one of these premiere events. So, but it's a little bit different. Here's the 
promo version. So of course it's it's foily and um, it has it actually has different art. It also has the Roaring Skies emblem on there as well. Um, and of course, since this was uncommon in the Japanese version, it's not a foil. So <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna stop learning about that. Put this down. Uh, I'll show you what the reverse hollow of the uh, Altaria looks like. I actually pulled one of those as well. There, it's actually a really cool card to play with the, the colorless Mega Rayquaza because the, the Rayquaza does have a weakness to electricity, but the clear humming ability um, says any colorless Pokemon has no weakness. So that's going to be important so that the new Mega Rayquaza isn't one-shotted by um, basically every Pikachu out there. <clears throat> there there's a, an XY Raichu that could be a big threat to him. There's, uh, you know, of course, there's Mega Manetric could be a big threat to him. There's probably a bunch of other electric types, but hey, let's uh, save the strategy talk for after we've seen what I get in these packs. What do we got? What do we got? All right. Glissor, Gliscor, Tranquil. There's a regular Altera, Song of Echoes. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Then draw cards equal to the number of bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. Could be a cool card, but it uses a move to do that. It takes setup. I don't really see that being used a lot. Binnacle Pikachu, which I'm surprised there's a Pikachu in the set. Inkay. I'm surprised there's an Inkay in the set because there's, there's no Malamar and there's no Raichu in the set. Meowth, who I saw a lot of in the uh, the tournaments, the, uh, the, the, the tournaments because he has Feline Fine to draw a card. He's colorless. Cascoon. Get a reverse foil Shellgon. And we get a Shedinja, another card that I believe was not rare um, <clears throat> in the Japanese set. But he could be instrumental in getting my Mega Galadin to work because Cursed Rain puts one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. And then it switches him to the bench, so that 30 HP doesn't really hurt you much. All right, let's go into only Mega Gallade pack we get. Hopefully we get something cool. Code card sign. Tropius. Tropius is another one that got a bit of use. Surprise, Switch was reprinted in Roaring Skies. Didn't really see that coming. There were a couple other ones that were reprinted as well, and I believe they came out of... Um, they actually seem to be reprinted from the XY set, and they were also in the Japanese Mega Rayquaza set with uh, the Dragon type. MK, Cascoon, Feline Fine Meow, get a Finnacle, get a Gligar, get a Reverse Foil Binnacle, which nothing evolves from Binnacle in this set either, kind of a weird one, but oh, whoa, guys, this is amazing. All right, uh, we have here a Full Art Thunderous EX. So this is another one that's probably going to be, you know, fairly underappreciated in this set. But, you know, it's a full art. Uh, I almost had an opportunity to trade for one. I'm glad I didn't. I think I, I only need one. But he looks pretty cool. So for three electric energy, Voltage Rush does 150 damage. Um, and there are, of course, items which can mitigate the 50 damage it does to itself. And then Headlock, flip a coin. If coin, if heads, it does 30 more damage. If tails... Paralysis, which is pretty cool. All right, Thunderous, you, you get to hang out by uh, Mega DNC over there. Look that stand up. That's cool. That's cool. I'm, I'm cool with that. Full art. Yes, not just an EX. Full art. All right. Let's uh, let's try our our only Rayquaza pack too. Let's let's see what happens here. This is uh, <clears throat> maybe we get another amazing pull. Chances are not. You know, that, that might be the cool one, but you know, there's, there's more cards in this set. We've got a Fletchinder, so there's a whole new line of, uh, of Talonflame in here too, which is another one that has a low attack cost, so it's kind of cool. Latio Spirit Link, Executor, Cascoon. Get another Halucha in this set, that's, that's kind of neat. Get a Dratini again, that Inkay, Natu. Hey, we got a Reverse Foil Jirachi with Doom Desire Attack. Discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. The defending Pokemon is knocked out at the end of your opponent's next turn. 
assuming that you know, your opponent doesn't switch out or something. Um, and then Diminutive Desire. Look at the top seven cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. That could be a way to shortcut um, trying to get another card, but it seems like if it uses steel energy, there's, there's not going to be a lot of use for it. And then Zatu, probably Jirachi, is the better card of that pack. So, okay. So the Rayquaza pack didn't get a lot for us, but we've got four more packs, two more Latios, two more Deoxys. Here's hoping for something else full art, something else EX, something else totally cool. And hope beyond hope, maybe uh, an actual colorless, um, colorless Rayquaza Mega Firo. This is another cool card, Mega Turbo. It's an item card that allows you to attach energy from your discard pile to one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon. This can help Mega, ev mega Evolve Pokemon. Um, maybe a Primal Kilgur, Primal Grodon, um, you know, your, your Mega anything. You just, just power up. So each deck is probably with Mega, you might end up playing four of these. And then here's another one that's going to be very particular to the colorless um, Mega Rayquaza deck because you get to search your deck for up to three colorless Pokemon, reveal them, and put them in your hand. So this could help you set up, you know, get a Shaman EX, which has the setup ability. It could also help you get, you know, your your regular and your Mega um, Rayquaza really quickly. I could see decks playing for those. If I mean, okay. Not to get the uh, Delta Plus, not to get a Togepi. It doesn't get a Togepi. Fletchling. Hey, Reverse Foil Toge Kiss. This is another one that I'm really pumped about because it has Delta Evolution. So as soon as you put it on um, a Togetic, as soon as you evolve a Togetic, you, you actually can evolve this Toge Kiss with this particular one. And with the Serene Grace ability, um, when you play this card from your hand, you can look at the top eight cards in your deck, choose any basic energy card you find there, and attach them to this Pokemon any way you like. I'll attach them to your Pokemon in any way, to any Pokemon. Um, but that can actually help this Pokemon set up and be ready to go on turn one if you use something like a Wally card to uh, get it going first attack, first turn. And then there's Skarmory, which is another card that I have no idea why it's rare, because it's just not a great card. Come on. Come on, Pokemon Company International. What are you doing? You're ripping us off. You're ripping off the children. I mean, uncommon cards, it's rare cards, it's... I love opening the Japanese boxes so much better because you get better cards. All right, you get a Fletchender, you get an Altera, you get a Wide Lens, uh, what would it use? Natu, Fletchling, Wormpole, Taylor, get an Electrike, get a Reverse Foil Firo, and here's that Talon Flame. Look at that, for two energy, one of them colorless, it does 90 damage, and it does, you know, 20 damage to itself because Brave Bird. But, <coughs> um, Grand Loop also allows you to draw three cards, and then you can switch this Pokémon with one of your bench Pokémon. And it, look, it has no retreat cost as well, so this could be an interesting card to play as well, but unfortunately it's a stage two, it's going to be hard to get out in the field. Um, someone might make it work, I don't know. Alright guys. Two packs, two packs, two packs, two packs, two packs, two packs, two packs. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Start with start with this guy, of course. Deoxys. Hopefully get something good out of him. Code car. Three weeks I'll be uh, live streaming a whole bunch of pack opening on the TCG online. Get a lot of spirit link. Ultra Ball, this is another card that was reprinted with this set. Trainer's Mail. So look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a trainer card you find there, except for Trainer's Mail, and put it in your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. So, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of cards play a lot of trainer cards, so this could be a good way to kind of choose, you know, do you want an N, a reshuffle card, you gotta get a field in there or something. Could be useful. I don't know if it would be that new, so kind of Binnacle, Spiro, Dunsparce, which has I remember correctly, the exact same art as the Dunsparce 
in the Legendary Treasures set. But it has different attacks, so it's not a reprint, so I don't know, it kind of feels weird. It, it wasn't in the Japanese version, but it's kind of weird. Voltorb, which, um, actually, <laughs> big explosion, got me, um, allowed me to win uh, one of the uh, tournaments because Big Explosion did 120 damage to uh, someone else's uh, <laughs> um, Rayquaza EX. <laughs> Oops. And then a Pikachu finished it off. It is weak to lightning. Gligar, Reverse Foil Talo, and another Talonflame. That's, that's okay. All right, last pack. Is that gonna be it? Is, is Thunder CX gonna be our, our big pull, our big find? Hope we get something else. Uh, code card. Uh, Skyfield. No, this is an exciting card. Um, each player can have eight Pokemon on this bench rather than five, which helps a lot of cards like Florges, who has attacks based on the number of bench Pokemon. Um, the, the, the XY Raichu does, and of course the new colorless Rayquaza has attacks based on the number of bench Pokemon. So this one, there's going to be a lot of Skyfield in use. We get Ninjask. Once during your turn before your attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may discard a card in your hand. If you do so, discard the top of your opponent's deck. Um, this could be an interesting card. And also, after Image Assault, search your deck for up to two more Ninjask, put them onto your bench, shuffle your deck. This could help set up something like a Florges EX sweep as well, because then you, you play one Ninjask and you have three Ninjask. Um, that, that could be interesting. That could, uh, that could be interesting. Ninjask and Shedinja. Dust Ox, you know, Wormpole, that, that weird dump sparse again. Spiro, Natu, Mincata, necessary to set up the Ninjask, but other than that, not very good. Got a Reverse Hollow regular not to, and Zapdos, so uh, he's got a theme deck coming out um, based on him. Not bad, for uh, 3 energy, 1 colorless, does 120 damage, and I might find some use in, in uh, some deck, and uh, does 20 damage with uh, 1 electric. Gotta watch out for that 40 damage to uh, one of your bench Pokémon, but you know what? Not a bad card. So. Out of, out of these cards, we pulled this Full Art Thunderous EX. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let me show you some of the other stuff that I got this weekend. Let me show you my Pokemans. <laughs> All right. So I managed to pull a Gallade EX, you know, noticeably different than the other Gallade EX. Um, it has Swift Lunge and Piercing Prizes, doesn't, doing attacks based on the remaining prize cards. It does have three psychic energy needed to get that, so it may be hard to set it up early on. Um, you may have some prize cards taken, but, you know, if, if you have all six, say, prize cards still in play, it could technically do 170 damage. Um, probably difficult to achieve. Um, also, though, I have the full art version of that, so I pulled this one and had to trade for this one. But I got two of these bad boys. Mega Gallade EX. So Mudo Blade, or Unwavering Blade as they translated it. This attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokémon that has any damage counters on it. So that's why something like the Shedinja, which does 10 damage to everything on the bench, could be pretty important because this guy, between Shedinja and this guy, get 10 damage, this does 30 damage to everything else on the bench. That could uh, you know, do a lot of damage to uh, uh, decks that have a lot of, you know, small creatures on it. Like, I'm thinking Night March could be murdered by this guy. Um, and then, you know, 110 damage, it's, it's kind of low damage for a Mega, but, um, you know, with, with all the spread bench damage, you know, he, he, that can be boosted by other things too. Um, and, you know, it might be able to do it for, you know, just the two Psychic Energy, if you can get something like the, um, there's the, the psychic field out there, I forget what it's called. There's, there's a stadium that reduces psychic attacks by one colorless, so that one would be very useful. So here we go. Let me take a good look at the full art Gallade and Mega Gallade next to each other. So shiny. That's really cool. That's really cool. So, you know, I've got 
these, I've got two of these, I've got, um, you know, one and one of these, plus I've got, you know, the promo Gel ADX, so technically I could probably build a deck around these guys at some point. But this one, this one, oh my goodness. I had to do so much, so much bartering to get one of these, of the gold versus seeker. Oh, just take a moment to look at that, so awesome, so awesome. And then, you know, not quite as um, expensive of, of a trade, but still just as cool. The full art Wally. Love Wally. He's basically like a super powered Evo soda. So search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon, except for Pokemon EX, and put it onto that Pokemon. This counts as evolving that Pokemon. So this can be helpful, like for instance, if I get uh, uh, a Togepi on my bench, then immediately I can put a uh, a uh, Togetic on it with this guy, and then if I have the Delta Evolution Togekiss, I can put that straight on. Turn one, I can have a level three, and then with uh, Togekiss's ability, I can search through the top eight cards of my deck, throw whatever energy on it I want, and basically be, be ready to sweep. Um, this could also be useful if you want to get a Garbodor out turn one and can get an item on it to shut down, you know, Shaman EX's. Um, Shaman EX's uh, setup attack, um, which just lets you draw cards. It's, it's going to be really useful it, you know, if you want to shut down, Gar have Garbodor shut down everyone really fast. There's a lot of other examples where you, you'd want to evolve an extra step really fast. So Wally's going to be an instrumental card in this deck. I actually wish I would have pulled more Wallys from this, but I've got this full art here. I've got one or two Wallys from you know, other pulls. This will be pretty cool. So I'm a uh, I'm pretty happy with the stuff I traded for. I'm honestly less happy with the stuff I bought <laughs> uh, or, uh, or pulled from, from my own from my own polls. But there you have it. We have an amazing assortment of you know some of the full art cards, some of the cool cards that you can find in this in this assortment. And uh, if anyone wants to trade a uh, Mega Rayquaza colorless with me. Uh, <laughs> leave a comment in the uh, in the comment section below. Send me an email. You know, get in, in touch with me. I really want to build that deck. So cool. Um, also, you know, don't forget to check out my other videos. I of course have videos of me, you know, opening other packs. Videos of me opening, you know, this this box of Emerald Break here, where I also did not pull any um, Rayquazas. I, I actually pulled uh, some Japanese Galay EXs. Um, I, I guess this guy's just following me around. I don't know why. I, maybe he likes me? Maybe, maybe I am destined to build the ultimate Mega Gallade EX deck. That must be it. Alright, thank you everyone. Um, and I'll see you guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There is one more card I did want to show you guys um, that, that, were, that was interesting from this deck. So there's, of course, the double dragon energy that you know, everyone's kind of talking about being able to use dragons now with, with fewer energy requirements. You basically, <clears throat> if you've got a dragon card that needs like you know, a fire and a water, well you can just use the double dragon energy and that takes the place of the fire and the water. So you know, it makes the energy requirements much less. But there's is also this healing scarf, which wasn't in the Japanese deck at all, um, the, the Japanese set. So it's whenever you attach an energy card from your hand, to the Pokemon this card is attached to, it heals 20 damage from it. So this could be, this could see some interesting use. I'm, I'm really not sure um, how it looks like. Sylveon's um, fleshy ribbon, it's just a ribbon. Um, it, it could come in handy, you know, as an alternate way to heal Pokemon. So if you don't need to, if you don't want to carry ribbons or something with it, um, I could also see it going on some Pokemon that have the. Um, alpha healing ability and um, so basically if you put this on there and they double healing just adding an energy could heal 40 damage to it so I don't know it, it could have its uses if it's combined with other things um, basically what I'm trying to say is that this this new set just threw open you know a whole new world of possibility an entirely new set of cards um, whole new mix and match combinations. I'm really excited to see what kind of decks pop to the top other than the obvious Shaman EX um, Mega Rayquaza deck, which is just gonna, you know, 
set up in a turn and murder everyone. I want to see some other deck other than that rise to prominence. Um, anyway, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and tell me what you like. Um, see my other videos. Thank you and see you next time.